Hello, in this part of the resource editor tutorial, I'll go over how I did this animation from the previous tutorial. So, to show you how I did it, I'll start by creating a new timeline image. And I'll call it Spoon 2 because I already have a Spoon 1 timeline. And I'll set its size to 240, I think by 139 which is the exact size of the image that I'm going to add and that will prevent it from being scaled which is something I want to do only if actually necessary so I'm going to pick the image splash tools no spoon I'm going to set the time to 2000 because I want the timeline itself to be two seconds otherwise it's a bit uh, too long for the animation and as you can see, the spoon is missing from this image. Uh, the white background is specific for the timeline. Technically, this is entirely transparent, as you saw in uh, the demo over there, despite the fact that the white background covers the squares over here. Now I'm going to add another the spoon itself. And I'm going to pick it from here. And I'm going to put it on for 700 milliseconds right now. And we'll talk about what I'm doing exactly soon enough. It appears here. Now, you'll notice a couple of things about this image. image. I'll show it to you right here. And I'll zoom in so it'll be more obvious. The image is exactly square. This is very important because we need the image to be square to rotate it properly. Because we always rotate from the center location. So what I'm going to do is essentially uh, take this image and rotate it, uh, it ar around the axis. But first we need to place it in the proper location. So let's move it. I think it should be in uh, something like 62 over 6 or something like that. A um, bit less. As you can see, there's a bit of a line there. And <coughs> perfect. That's the right spot. Now, you'll notice here that I have a destination uh, location. I want the destination to be 6. That means the location that will end in after 700 milliseconds have elapsed. And I want to move towards that destination using a spline motion, not a linear motion. So I'll get a smoother uh, motion. So technically, I want to stay in place. But um, when I rotate, it won't behave like that. So, for instance, if I want to rotate 20 degrees, and just for debugging right now, I'll just move to one direction, so I'll make this the entire 2,000 sec uh, milliseconds. So let's play this, and as you can see, we're rotating around the center axis, but that rotation is moving the top portion. So as we rotate, we need to move the actual location of the spoon. So to move that actual location of the spoon, we can just change the destination like this. And as you can see, the spoon essentially moves all together and gives the illusion like it's moving from here, when essentially it's rotating and moving the entire image. So this is still not the right place, so we need to change this a bit more. I think it's something in this line, maybe even more two more pixels I think and that's closer I think it needs to be a bit higher as well so I'll move this a bit higher mm, maybe another pixel here That's reasonable enough, but I think I have a problem with the image here that the line isn't solid all the way through, otherwise it wouldn't have been as obvious as that. Now we want to make it rotate to the other direction as well. So I'm going to need to remove this image after 700 milliseconds because I want a longer period of time for the other direction because it has all the way to go from here to the opposite direction. And uh, I want to go all the way through. So we're going to do this, and as you can see, this appears after 700, and I'm going to duplicate this entry. And this I'm going to start at 700, 
and to last 1300 milliseconds my starting point is actually here and the orientation is here so I want this to move in a spline motion uh, that, that was the mistake here. I forgot to change this to the spline motion to minus 20 degrees and I want this destination to be something like 70 eventually and I'll fix this to use spline as well and now the motion is smoother as you can see it I didn't get the uh, positions quite right so I'll just move it a bit further that's closer to what I want actually now maybe bringing it a bit up would fix some things but generally this is pretty much it and right now I can just take this image and it's practically identical to the one I have right here which does roughly the same thing with the same coordinates more or less uh, and that way we can get what is effectively this and as you can see it's not as obvious when you have a proper background and everything is in place like this um, and that's it generally you can use this as the background for any form you might want and uh, create really great looking animations and effects with uh, this sort of tool uh, until next time